Oh man, welcome, welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Naima Ignorance with Steven and Vixen, clearly, because she's... Yeah, that that was a weird intro, because I'm like watching you like huff on your glasses. I was cleaning my sheets, guys, Yo, fam, that's about it. Steven, you stare at my heartbeat. Be uh, it was just throwing me off. You, you gotta calm down. <laughs> it was just throwing me off. <laughs> Naima's back. Yeah, I hope no, you I swear, me. you're saying that shit mad enough. <laughs> Yo, I'm always leaving a couple. Put that shit on a t-shirt. Nima's you know back. what? Like, Honestly, I have a lot. Have you have... seen this lost podcaster? <laughs> Put you on up, a fucking milk carton. Right, posts up everywhere. Do they still do that? Deaf. Oh, all dogs Wait, and do they even have time. milk cartons? Wait, do you? No, what? They do have milk There's milk cartons, but no kids are on it. Like yeah, that. my supermarket. Well, I would hope not. I mean, <laughs> I would hope not either. Well, That's I don't see anyone weird. putting, like, kids on the back of lactate. No, I'm just saying, because outside of, like... <laughs> <laughs> She's still lactate. You know. It's funny, because I, I drink that. <laughs> Does it taste good? I want to try it. Right no, now, I'm drinking skim milk. Almond Breeze is, is the shit. Mm. Yeah, because I only I see, like, the sugar. almond milk No, I don't too, see any of the other milk. ones. Until That's why I asked. I heard it doesn't have that many almonds in it, actually. Well, because it's almond... No, they Where make you it. Were almond chunks? <laughs> no, they the, the amount of almonds they use to actually make it oh, is actually I mean, a lot. Oh, I mean, because it's... Yeah, it's like juice. It's like with, like, lemonade or some shit. It's like 40% juice. Or 40% gotcha. actual juice. It's not going to be all lemons. No one's just sitting there squeezing lemons into a fucking Tropicana carton. Like, that's crazy. All right. <laughs> this deep dive is crazy. It's wild. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sophisticated Ignorance. This is what y'all going to get on the live show. So, look alive. Yep. Get y'all tickets, please. Yeah. How um, many tickets we got left? Are people buying? Yeah, they're buying. Okay. Yeah, but everybody's going to wait till the last minute, as of per course. usual. Of course. Literally the week up, everybody's going to buy their ticket. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm telling Steven, don't, don't even stress it. Yeah, don't. Because all my friends are like, yeah, I'm going to get it right now. Like I know they're not getting it to the last minute. Cause we so do why last, even tell you right now? We do we're last minute away. shit together. Word. That's how I know. My homegirl was like, I'm going to get it the day of, probably. But right. I know I'm going. I was all like, all right. As long as you pull up. I know all my people pulling up. Well, your name is not on the list. Wow, wow. <laughs> I ain't got shit. For, I, I ain't know, got shit for you. Because if you I'm think I'm everybody. printing a list, like printing last minute, list. last minute because and you bought your ticket five word. minutes before the show. Now you're going to the Kinkos mm-hmm. to print out some shit for me. Email. If you my people, mm-hmm. you pulling up, just text me and let me know. Because Hopefully we, there's windows in the spot so you can we, hear from it outside. If we have room, <laughs> then y'all can probably fit. Let's hope there's people that pull up that we don't want there. Ooh. Wait. What? I'm just saying. Yeah, I gotta have a talk with some of my niggas. Like, oh, y'all can't be pulling up. Word. Like, no, please do. I would love to <laughs> have a conversation. Do. Cause you know, like, I'm thinking, like, one of them might right. be a little brazy. So I'm like, like I don't know word. if you want to come. I'm gonna get her where she can't escape. Like, come on. You know? Now you gotta relax. And it depends on, like, who show up. I might pull up for somebody word. else. It might not be you. They definitely buy the VIP. <laughs> word. Now you gotta be me mugging at like, the oh, front oh, row. Baby. Oh, I'm and ready. I'm gonna be the one to be right. like, sir, do you have any input on this question? Word. <laughs> I'm ready for the meet and greet. <laughs> like, man. Remember me? Yo, niggas is oh, psychopaths, baby. yo. Well, just... That reminds me of this time. I used to work at this law firm on Times Square, mm-hmm. and there used to be a pizza shop like a block away. So I used to go to the pizza shop often, and there was like this bad shorty that was in there. Okay. Hey, so hey, I hey. went in there one time, and I just happened to see this dude sitting at a table right in front of the register. He don't got no food on the table. He don't got nothing. <laughs> just and he just sitting there mean mugging. And I'm like, yo, this is weird. Fucking weird. Same. And then after that day, I ain't never seen Shorty in there since. Yikes. Dang. Damn, you're gonna mean mug. At least buy a slice. Come on, fam. That's the least you can do. At least mean mug with a Sicilian. Like, don't 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 nah. be sitting there looking like a psychopath. He's probably just it's a tourist area, so he's probably just waiting for somebody to say something to his girl. Oh my. Well, he's waiting for the guy with his family to be like, excuse me, can I order some shit? Yo, who you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> nah, talk to the other person at the Word. register. Don't, ah, talk, ah, don't talk to my shorty. Word. Don't talk to my shorty. She's not here to talk to you. She ain't got slices for you, fam. <laughs> she, she ain't got no slices for Matter you. Matter of fact, wait, go to the back. Go to the back. I'm going you out here. Word. Go down the street. <laughs> Niggas is crazy, man. Niggas yep. is crazy. Yep, man, indeed. possessive. And he was Hispanic, so you already know how they yeah, give it up. Whoopsie. John, you're crazy, yo. Yeah. Little Latin, I guess. So I don't know if I want him. I don't, I'm little Latin, nigga. A nervous. Two hungry bros are shaking right now. I'm a little shout nervous. Out. Shout out to the two hungry bros. Oh, but shout out, <laughs> shout out to our sponsor as always, Scotch Porter. SP. Uh, use the code SI10 on ScotchPorter.com. You save ten percent on your order. Get all your daily essentials for hair, face, hair, beard. shoulders, knees, toes, all that shit. Yeah, all that good shit. 
So again, SI10, scotchporter.com. Very Damn. simple. Cool. Very simple. <sighs> Please support. But um, this week's episode mm-hmm. was like a random shit that just hit me. Because this is like a, a kind of, almost kind of piggyback off of a statement Vixen had last week. And just a conversation me and Naima would just have in private or whatever. Just like in terms of like how people in our community basically, you know, what's the word I want to look? I'm looking for like, I guess grade or validate somebody's blackness based mm-hmm. on, you know, the shit that they do, like mm-hmm. how they dress, how they talk and shit like that. Upbringing, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I kind of wanted to focus on well, how you doing a little shimmy. Oh, I'm about to get in my trigger bag. Oh, baby. Let's you do ready? this. Yeah. Oh, God. This is definitely. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't bring up any more no, 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 stories no, no. about some wild shit. I'm going to make Naeem stand up. Come on. Come up. on. Nothing can top BJG, that boy. That was the best clip ever. <laughs> Nobody can top that shit. Nah, but, um. I saved that in my phone. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to post it like on Throwback Thursday, like randomly. Like that time I got lost in Jersey. It's I told myself I was going to bring that. time you got lost in what? Jersey? When we were just so fucked up, somebody called the Uber for us when we got in. Wait, I think I told you. But told they me this sent story. the location. Instead of saying Union Square, they put Union City. Oh, oh that's yeah. not Union Square. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Y'all Funny would be shepherd. the one. Now you're yeah. the whole new world. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this don't look like the IHOP Union Square. I don't remember being a big lot like this. It's like, we in Jersey. When the fuck did we go through the tunnel? How did y'all go for- Okay. Yeah, so like, I was about to ask, like, how y'all people y'all was going through the trash? It was me, my friend Daniel, and Ty. We were in the mm. Uber, and we were discussing, Y'all like, was shit-faced. Yeah, and shit-faced. y'all was in the middle of the conversation, Talking so. about Mariah Carey versus J-Lo and right. shit like that. So, so y'all hit the tunnel. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't, we didn't the see feelings shit. didn't go out. It didn't even take that long to get there. That's why we well, really hit pay yeah, attention. Yeah, it was right there. We just pulled yeah. up. I was like, mm, okay. Damn. That's nice. It was, it was a good so, time. Good hangover. So is there a eye <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it back to New York. Good job. To the right Well, eye. you're here now, so that's... Word. <laughs> Clearly you made it. <laughs> Clearly you made I'm it. Back I'm back Nima's again. I'm back again. back. Again. For like, what, the fifth time for the past two years? I think uh, it's been more than five times. My, I mean, life, my life is crazy. I have a lot of last-minute things that we probably Between the snatching out. and the pacey and the everything else my and the schooling. Yeah, you losing yourself? And gaining nah. it back. <laughs> right. Yeah, you good. Yeah, I hope not. As long as you're here to stay. Yeah, I'm going to try. And that's all we can ask, ask for. I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying every motherfucking day to be here. Those are the facts. Oh, man. Let's get on topic. Because whenever I'm here, we will never be on topic. It's I feel, fine. I feel they bad. still tune in. I feel bad. That's just true. That's fine. They, they still fuck with us. You got to mix it up. You got to mix it up. All right. So, um, I guess to start, what does it mean to be called an Oreo? And, like, when did that term actually start? Like, I don't remember, like, an like era. The 90s. That shit was around for a while. But I don't remember, like, a distinct thing that made people start using that term. Like, it just came out the blue. Well, the cookies. <laughs> well, duh, but it what culturally happened yeah, like for them happened? to oh, make people I mean, use that term. Niggas love Oreos, and then they saw someone... I'm not listening white. to his no, explanation. No, 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 I'm being dead ass. I'm being dead ass. You know what I'm saying? Oh, white kids niggas, Oreo niggas love Oreos. And then they saw, like, just a concept of, like, black, black and white. You're black on the outside, yeah, white on the inside. Yeah, Ooh, dead ass. Yeah, you're black on the outside, white on the inside. Wait, stop, stop, That's pause. the definition of it. I'm <laughs> doing it. You didn't get that till just now in the year of our Lord 2019? <laughs> nah. All right, so this has been another episode. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. <laughs> Dog. Come on. Damn. You now get so it. what did you think it meant this whole time? Well, I knew it was like... No, clearly meant. you did it, I know though. I knew what it meant, but then I'm like picturing the cookie in my head. I'm like... Oh, what, she thought it was double stuffed? <laughs> You're double stuffed. And like that. I just Wait, thought because it was black and white. Like a black person who acts white. But then when you put the Oreo, like an actual Oreo cookie. Right. Black on the outside. Black and the... I didn't really think about the actual oh, Oreo cookie. Oh, Jesus. O-M-F-G. I knew what it meant though. I just ain't. Think but that's the that's the correlation between the two. I know. So how do you know what I know, it meant? But I actually pictured it. it. <laughs> but I actually pictured it in my head. I like I saw the cookie. <laughs> I saw like the two chocolate sides, and then like I'm like, oh, cause it's uh, get it. Got heard you. Heard it. <laughs> Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see now. <laughs> then I'm like, this bitch is dumb as fuck. Uh, no, no, you good. I mean, people think Oreos, they get hungry, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, they do have, like, the golden Oreos, too. The uh-uh Oreo? That's what's Where called. Where you white on the outside and... The... Even more white on the inside? No. 
because it's golden. <laughs> Definitely talking about the uh oh ones, not the golden. <laughs> All right, so Oreos. How are you more white on the inside? Please explain that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, Nima's back. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be one of them episodes where we don't answer any of the questions. Like the way it's on? Yeah. Def. All right. So. So yeah, I. Get, I guess we, we, just, we know the definition. Right. We, we, let's we all know the definition. the definition. We get it. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I don't know if there's anything that I could pinpoint, like culturally, that happened for the people to start using the term Oreo as like a derogatory term. No, well, oh, you know what? Sorry, I should cut you off. I'm I'm gonna say Fresh Prince and Carlton. I think Carlton was like the first image okay. of like our generation of like mm-hmm. someone that represented someone like that like black on the outside very white and preppy or whatever and probably from there you know what i'm saying typecast like that that we've seen on like tv and movies or whatever because yeah, you think of um Oreos. braxton from um jamie fox oh, show. Yeah. <laughs> oh braxton he was jamie <laughs> yeah there was matt orders on tv maybe you know, really i can't really think is it a de- uh, derogatory term? It should be. I feel like it is. Yeah. Because I mean, I feel like it is. It in a good way. You're not. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Good, not I feel like it way. is, but <laughs> I've never. I mean, favorite Oreo. <laughs> word. Your word. No. I feel like it is, but I don't think it holds that same sort of weight of like other derogatory terms. Oh no! In the in the scale, there's definitely worse terms to be called. But I'm saying in the context of what an Oreo means, it's like yes, you're identifying somebody based off of their race and how they, you know, portray themselves. By the end of the day, you're kind of low key saying like, "I, you're an Oreo because you know what I'm saying you you black, but you low key white, and your your personality or your race or whatever is all mixed up." You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like you have a lack of of, I guess, racial awareness or a lack of racial identity. Mm-hmm. So low key, low key is definitely offensive. Yeah, it's but, definitely offensive. But I've never, in my experience, I've never seen somebody get called an Oreo. And like their mood changed, or they felt like offended to a certain extent. Maybe they just voiced to... it because I feel like if you call somebody Oreo, that's well, you're not saying it in a nice way. You definitely wouldn't right. to bother them. Well, yeah, yeah because the thing is, it's not it's not directly like like attacking you in a sense. Because it's not like uh, it's, you it's... know when a white person calls somebody a nigga, or you know they call a lesbian oh, a dyke or, or shit or like that. It doesn't hold that same sort of weight. Oh no, those terms are are obviously more offensive yes yeah as I said, we know the scale but what i'm saying is is that in the context of oreo and how it how because when i was called oreo back then in junior high school or whatever you know what i'm saying like i i knew it was offensive but i wasn't hurt because it's like at the end of the day i know who i was you know mm-hmm. that's just that was my personality i wasn't and huh, well this kind of ties back to dj <laughs> see it's all full circle no. because when i was trying to act gangster trying to get it i was trying to i was now oreo. trying to be a uh, the chocolate down? oreo exactly the what? I was trying to be black on the outside and more black on the inside. They have see. chocolate Oreos. I don't think they do that. They, don't they definitely yeah, I believe yeah, they so, do. Yeah. All right. They got Oreos in every fucking flavor. And I know because I walked down because eighty yeah, percent of them shits is nasty. Mm. Facts. Yeah, so I was trying to be a, a dark chocolate Oreo, and um, <laughs> you know with the whole BJG <laughs> face and just show people like, yo, I'm not, I'm not Carlton. I'm fucking Will. Will. I guess. Jazzy. Was Jazz on Kingston as well? Mm-hmm. I was probably I was probably one of the niggas that fucked Will up on that court. Yeah, I was trying to be like that. Oh, you trying to be like that? I could see yeah. that. I could see you trying like to be hard. Like, like hard. Like I was I was trying to be hard, but it was so like over the top. There was like I felt like a car was like uh, she was bad that. over the top. Especially like, if you like um you doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh what's that movie? J what JV Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> Malibu most uh, wanted. <laughs> I was kind of like trying to be like that. that so it was like a, very hard to watch. It was like an Oreo trying to act gangster yeah. and then trying to like show people like, "Yo, yeah. I'm hard," but you know you're not. Like it was weird. It was weird. And you can consider, uh, was it Anthony Anderson? And yeah, Anthony Anderson and, and, and Tay um, Diggs. Yeah, you yeah. consider them Oreos in that Word. movie? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we have had these images of Oreos on TV and movies and shit, and we know about it because we know people like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's. It's less of it is offensive, but it's kind of like all right. That's just who you are, and we accept that. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Not like you're a fucking or get the fuck out of here. Go dunk yourself with some milk. Like. <laughs> I see know, what you did there. You know, you know, you know, now I'm hungry. Shit. <laughs> uh, right. so what's like the biggest difference between I guess to compare the two? It's you have the Oreo quote unquote culture, and then I guess hip hop culture because that's what well, you know. Maybe. <clears throat> black people most identify with is the hip-hop culture so what mm. 
what are like the distinct differences that uh, between the two cultures per se for people that identify like oh this person's an Oreo because they do X Y and Z as mm-hmm. opposed to us we do A B and C like the major differences I think it's just more about like like knowledge and what you're exposed to you know what I'm saying because mm-hmm. most people I don't know this is like a stereotype or whatever but you know you relate people in the hip hop community as you know growing up in a certain area and being uh, being exposed to different experiences and then you um, compare that to people who are quote unquote Oreos that like oh kind of like in 8 Mile where dude was where fucking Rabbit was talking about Clarence and you grew up <laughs> with your parents who had a really mm-hmm. good marriage you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying you portray yourself in a certain way but at the end of the day you had like a decent life you were raised well you mm-hmm. went to school you did all these other things and like you're not that type of lifestyle you know what I'm saying so you can't necessarily relate to somebody that has been through more shit and has been through a certain um you know certain experiences like that so but i mean that's dumb though i don't know yeah none of it makes sense yeah none of it it's all sense. stupid but i just yeah they just kind of like pinpoint specific things like how you dress uh how you talk in terms of like the kind of verbiage you use whether you you know uh pronounce everything correctly oh stupid shit like that have, have you ever read i uh, use english properly to say words um, the shit that you indulge in, usually those type of people are not, you know, from more of a male perspective, which is something we could discuss. Cause I don't think, I don't think you've ever, I don't think I've ever seen a woman being called an Oreo. <clears throat> not straight out. Not straight out, but, but there's like, examples. Yeah. Like, like Ma- what? Like Myra from Family Matters. Well, she that's another thing. It's funny weird. how, I guess you could consider. <laughs> weird how. I wouldn't even call her Oreo. She's just. That's the one that know. passed away, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. God rest her soul. Yeah, she was bad. And nice. Oh, yeah, nice. I don't remember her character that much. I remember her. Hello. But would you consider Urkel it's... Oreo and then Stefan was like the cool one? Nah. Urkel was definitely an Oreo. He was double stuff Oreo. Come on, fam. Really? I just saw him as just being extremely nerdy. Well, I was nerdy too. And I was called an Oreo. Hmm. Like black nerds or blurs as they're called. Yeah, usually kind of categorize or fall into the category of Oreo. Oreo. Oh, wow. I, I never looked at him in, <clears throat> in that face. Because I think with the Oreo thing, we kind of identify them as, oh, you're acting like a white person. Like, Which you is, talk like a white person, you indulge in white people music, right. and... Like Jaeger bombs. <laughs> okay. That's something different. <laughs> I see where you're going, but different. <laughs> but, then, but then there's an undertone to that, though, because it's like, all right, if I'm... If I'm a black nerd or Oreo or some shit because, like, I'm a nerd and I study and do all these things, then you're implying that people who are supposed to be black black are supposed to be, like, dumb and ignorant and, you know what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah. Yeah. It's stupid. It's dumb. But that's how they... That's just how but, yeah, people back, identify. Right, people. but back then, yeah. Back then, that was kind of wild. That was kind of wild how we kind of phrased that, like, but well, it's like you, the don't, Chris, you don't it's act like, like me, so you're different. It's like the Chris Rock you. joke, like how niggas try to, uh, they try to be proud of being stupid. It was like, if you ever want to hide something, hide it in a book because niggas don't read. Yikes. But that's yeah. how it was back then. Like, <clears throat> being educated was something that was frowned upon. Right. And considered white. Yeah. Which is, oh my gosh. We were so, we were so dumb back then. <laughs> well, there's oh. numerous reasons as to why. But oh, yeah, yeah there's, under, there's layers. There's layers to this shit. We're not going to get into that. Mm, Oreo cake. Do you feel as though Oreo kind of stems from the term house nigger in a certain way it could Ooh, you're it, 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 back. Can, it can it can trickle down to that yeah it's a more um <clears throat> diluted version of calling somebody a house nigger i mm-hmm. want to say n- not necessarily like it's not a direct tie no, no no i mean i guess over that. time but yeah. Yeah. see the thing is in that context they were you know obviously slaves back then based on their color tone were split up to where you know the house niggas and stuff had a different upbringing or different, I guess, exposed to different experiences because they were in the house than, you know, the darker slave niggas that were outside, right? Mm-hmm. So, I don't think it was necessarily a fact of that's who they were all this time, and, you know what I'm saying, like, the lighter-skinned slaves, that's who they were this whole time, and that's how they, like, portrayed themselves. They were just, they were brought into a situation where they were exposed to different things, and that's just how they kind of, like, I guess, transformed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't that be the same thing as an Oreo? No, because if I'm born, if I'm born in a certain way, or that's just my personality and lifestyle, 
You know what I'm saying? It's not like, yo, I was mad hard and then I moved to the Hamptons and now, you know what I'm saying, like all of a sudden I'm completely different. You know what I'm saying? It comes from within. I mean, in your circumstance it can. But there are circumstances where you can be somebody of color and you come from a somewhat affluent background, so you're exposed mm-hmm. to different things at an earlier age. Like, you could probably, your your parents probably put you in piano lessons and classical music and shit like that. Right. And then as you get older, you just happen to end up in, like, public school. And immediately they'll identify, like, you oh, you like different shit, so yeah. mm-hmm. you're Oreo in that sense. Yeah. As long as it's as long as it's deemed, you know, in the sense of being accepted, you know, if certain things aren't accepted by a majority, then it's like, oh, you're different. Oh, you this one way. You know what I mean? But if everybody grew up in, everyone grew up in an environment where that was like a norm, they would be like, oh, okay, that's cool. True. I think that's the biggest difference right there. Yeah. So, so you're saying that the early '90s is when we started to recognize, well, the term Oreo. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the first time I started hearing it, at least. I don't know if it was around, like, before that. I don't think so. When did Oreos come out? That's a good question. Somebody should Google that. Mm, Nemo? Let's jump on the hole right now. Give us the facts. So, if it's the 90s, so then when did you, when did you realize it for yourself? Or when, and I guess me and Naima, when did we start to realize, like, certain people, I don't want to say we called them Oreos, but when we noticed there were people that were different, per se had a different upbringing than us and had different interests um i might have i might have well the first time we well, personally probably junior high well no even before that in elementary school there was a one elementary school i went to that was like i mean it's gone on brooklyn like all the way by seaview like all the way all the Sheesh. way Sheesh. yeah i had a crazy kid situation but um <clears throat> yeah I, I we used to go to an academy and that was kind of like my first time being exposed to like different kids from different races Mm -hmm. or you know whatever and then when i went to my first elementary school it was kind of like a similar thing so i mean between you know always being obviously mad young we were obviously exposed to like similar things in the sense like what you watch on tv and all these things so it was like you know as you have like you know the black kids like playing around with the white kids and you're all gonna like relate to certain things you know i'm saying obviously you're gonna pick up different mannerisms or pick up different things and relate in on a common scale you know i'm saying and then i guess as you grow up you kind of those things carry with you like if this kid is talking about rock music and then you get into rock and then you know that's not something that a typical black person would be into so to speak but that's uh what's the word that is a stereotype in itself mm-hmm. um you know what i'm saying it's just like once again it's all about what you're exposed to what year uh 1912 Ooh, damn yeah. so those oreos back then, and the then. guy who um helped invent the oreo just died last week damn. at 76 yeah damn rp to the homie that's a crazy coincidence. Wait, was it? He helped do something. But did he we, just died last week. Did we pour out some milk for him or something? Like, I don't know. How does that work? Just pour some milk on the guy? He'll be all right. Oh, I, just, I mean, the man who invented the Oreo filling Oh. dies at 70. The Oreo filling doesn't... Come on, fam. But the Oreo has been around since 1912. He just invented the filling. Okay. I mean... I mean the filling might be the best part. But what the true. fuck was it before then? I don't know. Let me continue your repeat. Carry on. <laughs> I mean, Carry 12, on. they didn't have much options then. So, yikes. But anyway. Um. So then wait. So then it was just the Oreo with just the, I it guess, was, the wafer? It was just the wafer. That's weird. <laughs> Might have been that's just trash. the wafer. That's trash. Yikes. Nobody, that's likes, super nobody trash. just likes the wafer. Yeah, that's super trash. Fam, you looking at cream and ch- chuck chuck. <laughs> Word, pretty much. Especially if you ain't got no milk. <laughs> you got You're no milk. that shit in water. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's 316 calories in one cookie? Baby. Well, you gotta stay away from Oreos. Listen, okay? Literally and figuratively. Like, away. How is that even possible? It Wait, in one cookie or one pack? One cookie. Has 310 calories? Yep. That's the double wild. stuff. I yes. A, oh, that's double, double stuff. stuff. Come on, it's a double but stuff. But even so. That means half of that is still like 100 or something calories. That's still wild. That's crazy. One cookie? You know how much cookies come in a you pack? You know how many cookies I used to eat last year? Bruh. Mm. Well, you See? better now. Keep you started now. Man, I want an Oreo cookie right now. I'm getting the Oreo thins. Let me see how many <laughs> Oreo thins. The Oreo thins. <laughs> <thing. laughs> Bruh. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> right. Oreo thin minis. You can get that for me. This is gonna be dumb small. <laughs> fucking eating buttons. Word. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, this is funny. Oh, man. Oh, this conversation.
conversation is so crap. So yeah, when did you start to realize like people were different? I mean, you um, probably weren't calling them Oreos because you're a nice person. Um, I don't think I've ever called anybody an Oreo either. I, I just always identify Oreo. people just being no, into what, different mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, I never really... After, I think... Okay, so I was called an Oreo back then. That was cool. I think in college, I started recognizing people as Oreos, but I never really called them out on it. It was just like, oh, okay, this person... It's like me. Is, is, <laughs> <laughs> mood! Did I think? Okay, all right, didn't see that coming. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that hit me. That, that came out of nowhere. You caught me. Oh. You've been on a roll. Guns blazing. Nima's back. <laughs> All right, yes, yes, you're right. But um, yeah, I think it was in college where I started recognizing other people. And you know, obviously, you grew up in a different neighborhood. I went to school upstate New York, so you have a lot of people in that upstate area that's like black, but obviously grew up around a lot of white mm. culture and stuff like that. So they adapted that. So I mean, I'm pretty sure they have had their like identity issues because mm-hmm. you know, once you get to college and especially if you like take up black studies, there's like, oh shit. Like, I'm black, black. Shit is real out here? Yeah, word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so, I mean, anyway, but that, that's a deeper dive into all that race, identity, kind of politics. Thing. I mean, my mom always sent us to different schools further and further away from where we lived at when we did live in Brooklyn. Mm. So, for me, everything was pretty normal. I mean, my elementary school, I was already around kids who were immigrants from, like, Africa and India. And so, the shit like that was normal to me. I never really... Mm-hmm paid too much attention to it until I got to college and I was like I'm a smart hood chick that's what I am Mm -hmm. because I always say this all the time like I'm a black girl but I'm not like that kind of black girl Mm -hmm. the one who hangs out with mostly you know like the white girls or the Asian girls and you know they dress a certain way speak a certain way oh like um chick from Clueless yeah like that like Ah, I was never that ah, you were the Stacey Dash of the game I wasn't that one Mm. Let me see where so, Stacey Dash is now. Like, I could still sit at the table with you, still talk the same shit, but my accent and my mannerisms right. going to be a little more rougher than yours. Hmm. It's always right. that. I was able to blend in, but I still stood out. I fucks with Evanescence, you heard? I used to love them, too. Right? But then I also like Lil' Kim, so it's like, you and gotta you, have balance. And you clear, like, Cruel Intentions. That's my shit. Cruel see? Intentions is my see? fucking Get in your white girl bag. Oh, baby. In the as notebook. long as you don't watch Friends, then we <laughs> Nah, I ain't dive that deep. Don't oh. do it. You know, double stuff Oreo? Nah. <laughs> don't do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, I, 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 I not, okay, I never used to watch Watch Friends. It was like, it was on noise, whatever. Right. But yeah, no, I'm more living single. Right, living single. I didn't even... And they've been trying to compare them to online. Crucify like, me. I fam. did not like girlfriends. Plot twist. Like, then, then, like, I didn't really Kelsey Grammer's been doing it for the culture. He's been doing it for the culture for a while. What about you? It wasn't. But I just wasn't into it. It wasn't my not thing. Mm-hmm. Can you say that girlfriends had mad stereotypes in there? Yeah. Who was the Oreo in that show? Uh, Tracy Ellis Ross. No. Was no, it the, the other, other artsy chick. girl? The artsy nah, one? No, the other chick. The, the light skin chick. one? The artsy one? That Not the RT one. The one I was always in school. I'm talking about the the the. Uh, talking about uh, no. Tony. Was, oh, Tony. You feel like she was the one real? Nah. She had identity issues. Nah, she, she had strong identity. Or she probably issues. just had a very like high like I don't know she was standards just, or some shit. She, she was did. just she was into, a gold digger. She was wasn't she a lawyer? She was no. A, Tracy Ellis Ross was the lawyer. I don't yeah. know what Tony was, but Tony. No, I Tony like, was the lawyer. I mean, Tony was the one that was on some. I can't. I don't even know. She Cause she was into doctors and right, right, right. She, she, that's what yeah. she wanted. Yeah, like a lot of these I mean, women out here. Of course. Yeah. She, I, I wouldn't like, identify as Oreo. No, she, I, I feel like she just had identity. She kind of remind me of uh, what's a shorty from um, Insecure. Oh, right. Molly. Tiffany. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, Molly. Okay. Molly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. That's not really yeah. Oreo. Yeah. Nah, yeah. In okay. terms of her behavior, cause she wouldn't right. switch up around regardless of the race of the dude that she was Mm-mm. dating. She was she still hooked. Yeah. 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 She just wanted a nigga with money. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line. Then she met that Asian dude and she fucked up. Mm. Womp womp. Well. Yeah, I don't remember the show that well. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I was watching yeah. Sex in the City. Oh. Um, never watched I that used, I used to watch that shit too. And then the Girls. When Girls was out a couple girls years ago. Girls was out. Never watched that either. Then it just got. Yeah. Yeah, crap. So, we should do a TV episode. We will. It's coming. I don't know. I'm with that. Yes. We have to bring other people in though. Oh, yeah. All right, let's keep the momentum up, guys. <laughs> like the energy. Oh, it's my turn. Um, I'll probably say, like, after college. That's when I started to realize how people were into different shit. Because for the most part, I've always been in school, public schools, with majority black people from the same communities. Mm-hmm. So you didn't really get to see people that were um, into different shit like that. 
into different cultures or whatnot because everybody was just doing the same shit. Mm -hmm. And then in college, when I was attending like a legit college, it was uptown with all the Dominicans. So I was the odd man out. (laughs) 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 So yeah, like I think it was probably like after college, once you started, you know, working in different companies and you start to see people over different walk of life. Right. And then you were like, yo, fam, like, why are you moving like that? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Mm. Why are you so tense? <laughs> One of my last jobs I realized I was the only black girl. And then when other black girls came along, I was like, yeah, you still, I'm still not that one. And, and that's... I definitely see that shit now with where I work at. Because, like, in the Slack channels we'll have, mm-hmm. there's, like, one specifically for, like, only the black people. Yeah. So I'll drop jokes in here, here and there, and it'll be, like, only two or three people get it. Right. Mind you, there's like 15 people in the channel. Yikes. So it's like, oh, y'all not. Law of averages. That I guess one. Not. Yeah. Everyone's going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yo, it was crazy because... Um, like, the, I put the uh, the, <clears throat> the Dykeman text in there. The no Dykeman text it. picture. Crickets. Only like three or four people got it. Crickets. Everybody yeah. else was like... Yeah. What is Dykeman? Is that Inwood? <laughs> you got you to gotta save those other shits for the group chat. You can't do that outside. Mm. Look, man. Uh, he trying to, you know. Yeah, because if if I don't effort. respond, no, I get it. If I don't say nothing, that channel be dead. Well, some people be busy. Ain't busy. busy. Looks at me. Mm. So how are <laughs> these people treated in their youth in comparison to adulthood? I think they're more accepted as adults than they are as children because when you're out in the workforce and you're meeting new people, mm-hmm. you're able to, you know be more in contact with people like yourself especially yeah. at different jobs and um social media now it's a lot easier to connect with people who are like you right. compared to when you're a child you're still trying to figure out your way right, people true. teasing you like dang like, i thought i was like regular regular <laughs> schmegular like i'm yeah. not and then you start to realize like a lot of people was in the same shit they just didn't admit to it when they were younger oh absolutely not. right like yeah. nobody would admit to back then they was into like certain rock bands or certain white people in culture so why do we feel as though uh people of color put this focus so much on like uh how did you define your blackness because our blackness has always been defined for us mm. um, we have always been told from the very beginning <laughs> what you talk what about it sis black is mm. you know what i'm saying and i feel like every 10 to 20 years being black is something different you know we had the black panthers that's if you're black you that's how you're going to be represented Mm -hmm. necessarily um then you had um the early 50s and 60s your own representation of what being black is um civil rights movement and all the other kind of stuff i feel like every couple of years it changes now being black is kind of like hip-hop i mean it's mostly faceted too I think people try to put blackness in one lane, and there's so much more lanes that people, you know what I'm saying, don't necessarily want to include all mm-hmm. the time. You know what I'm saying? But it's so it's so vast. Blackness is so vast. You can't just say, like, all right, blackness is this one thing. Blackness is just the music. Blackness is the culture. Like, the culture is not just the music. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a whole experience. You know what I mean? But out, from the outside, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, black people, they're all about the hip-hops and the, you know, the 808s and the beats and the whatever. Because that's where... Uh that's how we express ourselves through music and through words. Right. And for a lot of those people that would make fashion. those assu- uh, assumptions, they only pinpoint the black people that they see on TV. Exactly. And the only black people they see on TV is either the athlete or the rapper or the person that's an actor or actress, but they're probably typecasted into a specific role. Right. Exactly. So they just assume, oh, y'all all just, you know, have early pregnancies and right. run the block and all, do all this other wild shit. And that's the one lane that I'm talking about. But there's so much more to it than just what you see on TV. Yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah, yeah. so well, yeah, blackness is, is, is so much more. So do we see this kind of um, behavior in, like, other ethnic groups? Is there, like, an Indian Oreo, for example? Is that what you're saying? Like, do they try to, yeah, like... Yeah, I would say so. Yes, yes. The answer is yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure in the Japanese culture, they adopt a lot of, like, like European. Caucasian, European, like, mannerisms Influences. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. To where, like, you know, they either bleach their hair or they're, you know, kind of... You know, K-pop, I'm pretty sure, is an example of something like that, where... 
you know, Korean pop is, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know too much about mm. it, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that's adopted from, like, regular pop music that mm-hmm. they've seen on the West, you know, and they adapt it to their own thing, you know? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, a lot. So is it more so then, like, a human nature thing of how we just, human nature puts us in a position where we just create, like, these different little social statuses, social economic statuses on people? Because if you look at white people, if you look at white media in the past, it's always the jocks and then the nerds and the goth kids and things of that nature. Mm. So is, is it more so like a human nature thing? Like we're just genetically predisposed? Like, okay, if we identify with this thing, then we're going to be around people that all do the same thing. So then we probably look at everybody else as kind of weird because they don't do what we do. Yeah, I would agree with that. Possibly. Because, yo, back then I was watching... Like, Saved by the Bell, and I wish I was in a school like that. Like, I wanted my lockers in the hallway. I wanted to be going to the, to the rally. Saved by the Bell <laughs> was a very diverse show. It was. It I don't was. think it gets enough credit. What? Saved by the Bell. It, it had its diversity, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't get mentioned Ooh, for I mean, diversity in the sense of face value or diversity in the sense of what they discussed? Like, the topic. A little bit of both. Nah. I'm going to disagree on that one. Lisa Turtle was not the kind of black girl I can relate to. Uh, now with Lisa Turtle or, or uh, no she was the black girl that she came was, from wealth she was the token black girl that came from wealth that had money so yeah. still can't relate to her I mean down to like the little things like my skin tone uh, her hair texture uh, the school she went to the money she had nothing about her was real you were just a token black girl right but she so, never expressed I, I, I mean I it was I probably mean, like one or two episodes when race was brought up and she felt some type of way. Right. But throughout the show, she never really carried herself like, yes, I am the proud black girl never. or whatever. It was just but, like, hey, I'm in this high school with right. just a whole bunch of different White people. Is, which is, saying? nothing is wrong with that. Of but, course not. But her blackness also wasn't pushed to the forefront either. So you also see that as being a problem as well. Mm. Like why? Because a lot of times you have the token black girl. And that has to come from wealth. Yeah. I mean, look at right. the Kardashians. Yeah, yeah. They have their token black people. Yikes. They it's do. The truth. They I have mean, their token no, black true, people. Yeah. I mean, how often do they even mention anything about black issues? Black right. issues, other than they just get they scrape the top of the surface. It was unfair and it's wrong. If they even do that. Word. It's very skimmed over. Yeah. There's no I mean, deep dives. I wouldn't say <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't call her an Oreo, but she's definitely the token black girl. Mm. Makes sense. You gotta have I one. never looked at it. It's been a while it's, since I've seen And just seen because the token doesn't mean you're an Oreo either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, it I just so happens to be. And this is just a, a fictional character. It's not like yeah. the actress had any part in no, this. No, of course not. But I mean, yeah, even though it's a fictional character, there yeah, are Yeah, she got a little wonky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Google. We don't want to talk about Google's. It. Yeah. But I'm, yeah, no. she looks super trash now. Not no, or maybe I'm getting her confused with Stacey Dad. No, no, no. No, no. It's definitely Lisa Turtle. She's a whole different shade. Yeah, it looks bad. Like she put on like gray foundation or something. Yeah, so it's, well, I don't. I don't even think you can help her. No, she's definitely a. She got the wrong bleaching cream. Yikes. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 But yeah, no. Um, I mean, even though yes, Lisa Turtle is a fictional character, but I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that is similar to her in real life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, like, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like even though they're fictional characters that we're talking about in the sense of TV and media, there's people that, like that in real life that you know could kind of relate to that type of lifestyle or character or upbringing like um it's more socially acceptable yeah socially acceptable it's like safe it's safe it's safer a chick you know? from a uh, freaking um fresh prince um hillary hillary yeah another example very we lisa turtle in nature. no she's lisa turtle gotcha. comes from wealth exactly. so she's not used to like certain things anything else anytime they try to bring her to the hood so, it was like ew so why would, <laughs> but, but, so why but, would we but, consider but, carlton to be a Oreo and exactly. not hillary because if that's the case if, and that's what I was saying earlier so about weird. the well, men the, versus men versus women. You don't never really hear about women getting called or- Oreos. Well, I think the answer is, is that these 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 characters probably represent a woman version of Oreo. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not right. exposed to typical black experiences. They're they're exposed to, to, to wealth. So once again, Hillary will probably go into a different neighborhood. Like, oh, what is this? Oh, and, the ghetto. You know what I mean? Like. You know what I'm saying? So that might be that might be uh, equivalent there. Mm-hmm. Cause they that. scoff at things that they don't understand. Like, yeah, but in those two examples, with like a Lisa Turtle or a Hillary Banks, you're not gonna see them in our 
environments. Right. That's what that they're is more affluent. So where the you can uh, Oreo, Oreo can you, you have we have or. accessible we have a, accessibility to the quote unquote Oreo. So I get you. <laughs> and then from a male and female perspective, it's like you'll call the dude Oreo, but the girl who may you know, like uh, we'll her like too. um, Murder Urkel, we would call her just a geek. Yeah. Right. Or Becky. Really? Becky. Yeah. Becky. Sometimes, sometimes we can interchange that word. Like, you over there acting like a little fucking Becky. That's new. Yeah. I wasn't aware of that one. Like me acting like a little Becky. Hmm. So, if a, is a black per- so a black person that grows up in a predominantly black neighborhood and they exhibit, like, quote, unquote, white culture, culture then I, they're considered Oreo. But what yeah. about a black person that grows up in a predominantly white neighborhood? Are they that's, still an no, Oreo too? No, I feel like that's just you because you're never going to be put in a situation to where you're going to be in a problem. Yeah, because you're not in our environment. Right. Yeah, you're so not we're, in our environment If you're all. not in our environment, we're not going to expect you to act a certain way. As right. opposed to these people, they grow up in our environment, so we look at them so like, like yeah. yo, like, not even good with you. It's just like, well, how did that happen? Yeah, it's like, our music well, no, is blasting it's, everywhere. Right, the bodegas is like you experiencing the same shit that we, we experience. Yeah. Right, exactly. So but you this just expectation, go... is an expectation like, oh, yo, you're gonna like be like me in a sense. And now that you kind of flip the script, it's like, where the fuck yeah. did you know about fucking? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's blasting Hot 97 back then. You're not fucking turning to Z100. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. There's an expectation there. That's, that's why, why it always throws me off when I see all the Hispanic people at like EDM concerts. I don't get it. It's it's just the beat. Yeah. But it's still weird. They're about the beat. <laughs> it's still weird to me. I don't know why. The same 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 type of vibe you get. EDM I mean I guess, but their Spatata. music doesn't really completely different. Hmm. Maybe sonically? I don't know. It could yeah. be a sonically thing. The same build up, like mm-hmm. reggaeton compared to like EDM. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Hell, as long as there's a, as long as there's a build up, oh baby, they're in Be there. Ready. They're, in the, they're in the bag. <laughs> it's lit. Yeah. Mad wepas. <laughs> Mad wepas. <laughs> so from a, I, I wanted to add this in there from a devil advocate standpoint. Uh, how do do how do these Oreos treat people? Treat the rest of the community, like what community? Black community, because y'all have. <laughs> no, 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 I'm trying to specify. Like, are you talking about how Oreos treat other Oreos, uh, quote unquote? Or no, how like how do they treat other black uh, yeah. other black people? Because you... I think the when you have those people that would consider somebody an Oreo, or at a at an older stage, we tend to see them as somebody that left us and they don't really fuck with us anymore. Like they. They, you know, they become, you know, somebody of a certain stature, like they become a doctor or a lawyer and things of that nature, Mm -hmm. and they no longer identify with where they originally came from. So you'll have some of those people who, yeah, they look at black people, the same stereotypes that white people outside of the black community would have about black people, they'll enforce those stereotypes. They'll even tell the white friends, like, yeah, I don't really fuck with such and such because they only do X, Y, and Z. Mm. So how do we feel about those people? Or it, and in also like, do we think those people are the majority, or is more so like, you know, smaller cases? Like those, do those Oreos grow up to be those people that resent black people because of may because of how they may have been treated, or is it more so like, oh y'all just like the bad apples, like regardless of what it would have happened, y'all just felt some type of way. Some, I think it depends on the person and how they feel about themselves. Uh, but I do run into people who have those treats. Oreo treats. Right. I hate that word. Oreo treats. And then... Oreo treats? And because <laughs> and because they were teased as a kid, now they just really don't fuck with black people who aren't like them. Yep. Right. Because they've been stereotyped right. and right. Like, made fun of their right. whole lives about so, like, it. Oh, y'all, y'all a bunch of niggas. Yeah. Ouch. Like... You a nigga too. You right. get pulled over too. Twist. Right. <laughs> no, I think I think okay, and obviously we haven't used this term now. Like I don't hear people calling other people Oreos now. Yeah. So I think that term is like dead in a sense. And once again, going back to um, my point of the black experience being not to cut you off, but that's one thing I do want to give credit to the younger generation for. They're way more open than we have been. Yeah, because because they're exposed to more things. Back yeah. then, we only had so much more. Like, in the sense of, like, what we're exposed to is so limited. It was so specific. 
now this new generation they're exposed to so much shit. You have social media, you have all these other things yeah. that. Because before really, I was like, you wasn't gonna see no hood dude hanging around any homosexual male or things of that nature. Now everybody's fucking buddy buddy. Yeah. Everybody's cool. You know there's more acceptance there. I mean, you have your little ignorant bad apples here. And there, yeah. yeah, yeah. For the most part, yeah, there's more more acceptance. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to you know the black experience being multifaceted, I think people who were deemed Oreos back then now are kind of fold into the black experience where it's like it's more than just this one thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be a black person and and have a, different interests. Right. White. I, 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 even me now saying like white interests or whatever sounds weird, but you know, kind of have things that are outside of the norm of the black experience and still kind of be accepted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of it being like, oh, you're, you're Oreo, whatever, you know, you're a part of that category. You don't know what black means. You know what I'm saying? This is like... Relax, calm case. down. Yeah. Not the case at all. So, how do, I guess, how do Oreos assimilate themselves to the rest of the culture? And if they aren't, are they even really given a chance to do so? Like, how can they? Yeah. Or if they have... And if they're even given a chance to. I feel like nowadays, it might be a lot easier. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, how do you... No, I think it is. Yeah. Look at me! We made that point. Me! We made the point. is like, people are way more accepting. Yeah, and then we, we communicate yeah. more. Yeah. So it's like... Oh, I like the office too. <laughs> and once again, and once again, we're exposed to so much more things. So yeah. like, right. of course, there's gonna be a commonality after a certain time. You know what I'm saying? So, like back then, it's like, oh, you don't fuck with this, chill. Now nah, you ain't black. Now it's like, I right, we all exposed to the same shit. So it's like, yeah, all right, that makes sense. And we're way more open to learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And having um, different experiences. Yeah. So once again, I think the term Oreo clearly is gone now because it's like we're all exposed to different things that make us more multifaceted than just the specific experiences that we thought to find the black experience back then. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we all we all good. We Gucci. Yeah. I would have to agree. I mean I like Jaeger Bomb now. You I've could never you had could one. like Jaeger Bombs and then go uptown and fucking Chad uh yeah. Chadwick is fucking yeah. down in some henny. Word. Right. There and I don't fuck with henny like that so it's a fact. Do do henny bombs. We only do oh, Duce anymore. Duce and Winnessy. Oh, Winnessy. Shout out to Winnessy. Listen. For real chance. I gotta write that down. Listen. You should have wrote it down before. <laughs> I'm slacking. I'll be tired. Winnessy and waffles, I'm telling you. I'm finna have That's Winnessy and crab legs later. Oh, okay, you watch. Oh, shit. You, you going. Be a thotty ass night. You going over the top. That shit sounds like way too much aggression. That shit I need you like, to relax. That shit sounds like an experience. That shit. <laughs> that shit you gotta Wait, be charged. You gonna do an AS, ASMR? <laughs> 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 now I'm messy. going to. Uh, Crack on this uh, king leg. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is sick, yo. Is Wait, did I send y'all that video of yeah. that black guy making <laughs> ASMR videos for white liberals? <laughs> <You did. laughs> I probably didn't watch it. That yo, hilarious. that shit was funny. This dude <laughs> rubbed his hair on the mic and was like, ah, see? You want to touch that, don't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's uh, nah, it was funny. It's it was funny. It watch. was funny. Um, so I guess we'll just jump into our extra ignorance segment for the week. And I think I asked Naima the question already. Mm. But, um, somebody had asked on social media if she should feel some type of way that her husband doesn't want a joint checking and savings account. So I felt like we should just have that conversation. No, I don't want a joint checking and savings. Why do you specifically don't want a joint checking and savings? Fuck, we need one for a minute if I need some money before I ask you. As boyfriend and girlfriend, or are you talking about as a married couple? So this, could... this person said husband. Oh. Well, I mean, if we're putting in an account, and that account is specifically for bills, like I'm taking a portion of my salary, and I'm putting it in there, he's putting a portion of his, and that goes towards bills and mortgage and stuff, that makes sense. But if it's just a checking account, and we both put money in, and we, have, we both have a card, and we're spending it at a fucking Target, like, my nigga, no. Like, I feel like well, that's... Stupid. I mean, you have to make sense what the joint account is for. You know what I'm saying? People have joint accounts and then they go swipe, swipe, swipe in, right. on a fucking car. It's like, wait, we didn't have this conversation. Oh, my bad. That's where shit gets messy. Right. That's why you know I, I just saying? feel like, no. But like, you have to set the purpose of the joint account. Like, I, I just feel, like, I feel like as for... though, like, it's been some... It's just one of those things that's part of just American culture of, like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do as a married couple. Like, you're supposed to have joint accounts and shit. 
and I don't really come to the common like I ain't that. Near, never heard. I, I, know, I know people that have them, but I don't think it's like super common in the sense. I know somebody marriage. who have a joint checking account too, and they spend that shit on dumb shit. Like, what's the point of you having a checking account if you're still using Wait, a it? joint checking account? I mean, just a joint account in general, and oh, okay. y'all just using it for stupid stuff. Right, like yeah. a debit card. Like it's not. Yeah, like it. That's no, what I'm saying. It makes it no make sense. sense. Well, that if it's a joint sense. account y'all have, and it's going towards like. Savings. Your savings and your yeah, that's the only thing tuition. I can think of is a joint then, savings yeah. account. Right, just saving account what, you're saving up for a house, right. you're saving up for like big expenses. Right, but in from case what emergency. I've seen is used for bullshit just to say we have a joint account together. Word. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. more so of a tradition thing as opposed to does it really make sense for the sake right. of operating yeah. it. I feel like in that sense, then no, I don't dub. think I would want one. Joint accounts make sense, but doing it for the wrong reasons. Don't joint make savings sense. account makes sense. Right, Word. and then we get. No one gets married to think about divorce. When you get divorced, then it's like... Mm, there goes a joint account. Yeah, we got to figure out. Yeah, now you got to figure out what we'll portion in more money. Line, I put more portion. money in this mm-hmm. year and you did. And it's, it's called statements. <laughs> like, man, it's that's called, not work. Yeah, it's called well, just have your money be they your don't money. don't have a joint account. Yeah. There you go. I mean, somehow, some way, it's going to be split either way if you right. don't get that prenup. Either way, yeah. Well, burp, burp. I mean, so. at the end of the day, Whoopsie. as a man, you don't really have no money. Word. We all broke. Coming to the world, bro. It really hurts. I don't know. Steven has his own opinion about that. I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm just plugging it up. You make money, but if your girl asks you for the money, you have to give her the money. You don't have to give nobody shit. If you have it, yes. If you have it, girls like having their own money too. And it works vice versa. If you need something, I got it. I'm going to get it for you. Or in most relationships, if I see something I want to get you, I'm going to pick it up for you because I know you like yeah. it. Don't, don't, don't so let that narrative. Like, don't let that narrative. I mean, I get, I see what you're saying, but that narrative don't. is trash. Yeah, that's really some is. other dumb shit people got going on. Like, your money is my money, my money. Like, right. shut the Your fuck money is my money, my money is my money. Whoa. Like, okay, SZA. <laughs> okay, SZA. Okay, <laughs> SZA. Bitch. You oh. still broke on the weekend. Like, Wom- <laughs> yeah, women like having their own money. That's. that's I see what you did fact. there. Uh-huh. <laughs> I do like having my own money. Word. Just because I don't want nobody to feel like I'm begging necessarily or I feel like I have to necessarily ask you, mm. you know, but I know if you're going to do for me, you're going to take care of me. I can see it from me. that standpoint because niggas is funny. Yeah, if yeah, you're going to do it like, for me, you all know. stay all, you acting up and we definitely last week I gave you yada, yada, yada. We right. got to have a, a money episode. Have we had a money episode? Nah. nah. Yeah, we got to go yeah, to the I'm dub on the joint account shit because I remember, <laughs> this is ages ago, I remember I caught my mom watching Oprah one time. Oh, boy. And watch out. <laughs> you caught him watching Oprah? Like, and, that's a crime? <laughs> and it was one of them episodes of, like, married couples. Mm. And clearly he was a simp. Ouch. But she was spending at least, like, I would say maybe thirty, fifty thousand 50000 a year. Because she was just a stay-at-home mom. And she, she was, was just spending... on Home Shopping Network all So she day. was spending all the money. He Was make... Was he making all the money and she was spending it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, God, that's trash. Yeah. And I feel like when that happens... And he would never put it in check. It would just be like, yo, he... They've had conversations numerous times, and she would just keep doing it. Yeah, because it's like, that's what I mean, that the them? male's... Mm-hmm. No, it was, he looked stressed. <laughs> 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 it wasn't working. It was working for her. It wasn't working for him. Uh, yeah. He I looked men, stressed. I, know men who complain about I mean, like it that. wasn't our people. So, uh, that's, I, mean, no, I know... I know Bill and Susan. Someone like that. <laughs> they had a problem. And they complain about it. It's like, but you enable that behavior because you still want to feel like you're the man because yep. your man's supposed to be the provider and I have to provide for her. So there you go. you're going to stay home and I'm going to go to work. So once you set that tone and that narrative, my nigga, if your coins ain't matching up to the lifestyle, then you need to figure something out. You shouldn't set the tone for it. Fam, I've, I've seen face. Home Shopping. Yeah. I've seen Home Shopping Network yeah. numerous times. Don't shit be on the hour. Fifty thousand in a year. Yeah, because she was on home shopping and she was on QVC. That's she was up wild. Late night looking at the now you're buying cracker jewelry. barrel, that cracker shit. That fucking. That's wild. All of that. Just I'm having a stuff. fit. I'm having a fit. Matter Sorry. of fact, I'm having a yard sale the next day. <laughs> Flipping <laughs> all that shit over. Flipping all that shit over. Like four fucking blenders. <laughs> Wait, why you got four blenders? You don't need this. <laughs> you don't need the ninja chop. You gotta relax. Right. You got the whole fucking knife. I was just stats. sitting. I was just standing there like, so you really gonna let Shorty just spend all your fucking bread? She was overspending, if I remember correctly, because I think you he said thirty five thousand. That is the definition had, of overspending. I had somebody come to me and complain, like vent about it. And I'm like, what are you mad for? Like you set the tone for the relationship. You allowed her to be at yeah, home and do absolutely nothing. Like it's not like she home and she's like cleaning or whatever contributing. She's just home. Word. It's not even that. Money. Fifty thousand. 
son, spending money is her job. That's the job. Right. 50000 It's not even like she's buying these shits and flipping them shits. It's just like, yo, I want all this shit for what? To go nowhere because you're a stay-at-home mom. Good job. Bro. I would have put her cooking. ass. I put her ass on the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> <laughs> five easy payments. You, she can be yours. <laughs> Not even five. For a low payment of nineteen ninety nine. Wow. Put that bitch on the dark web. Make you some of my money back. Ouch. Talk All about, right. Talk about uh, a woman's worth. <laughs> Ouch. Y'all wildin'. I'm just saying. I'd be nah. Ain't like no way you fucking tank. spending fifty thousand of my money on some calm shit. I know somebody who on Tupperware. That. Cause of that. <laughs> that's how they get you though. It'd be like, oh, this whole set is two hundred dollars, but that should do be seventeen enticing, easy payments of twenty nine ninety nine. I'm like, that's son, way more. You're, you're gonna want to be itching for your fucking debit card too. Nah, <laughs> but, but they nah. always get them because it'd be way more if you just paid it up front. Word. But you got all these seventeen payments to two dollars and fifty seven cents. Like, exactly. Mm. Nah. Hey, I'm just saying. You haven't lived. I don't want to live. That's the case. <laughs> nah, that's the time I just watch it just to listen that's, to the people call in. Can we see people entertaining? I'm like, y'all buying that I've been shit? Watching it ages. Can we see or HSN? It's bullshit. Right, HS. Yeah. You don't have to now, buy it, but it's entertaining. Fancy, that shit I showed you. If Fancy had a show like that, oh, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking broke. Wait. There's a site called Fancy. They got like mad dope random shit. Oh, right. That you don't really like. Me? You never even thought existed, but it was like, yo, I, I need think this. I need, that. I need this. Like they had the the frying pan. That's like in sections, so you could like cook everything all at once mm. for your breakfast. For oh, your yeah. eggs, bacon, hash browns, that everything. That'll come in lit, because I get tired of waiting, I gotta wash the Oh, baby, that'll come in time for the fucking witness and waffles. Oh, Thanks. man. Can you imagine? I'm imagining Oh, yeah, now. we were supposed to talk about that. Alright. We wrap. Alright, so go on com, buy that shit. Let's see what happens. Get someone to see. Whoa. Make yeah. a big ass batch. <laughs> Oh, baby, we're going to you lit lit. I'm very excited. I'm bringing some Wednesday to the live show, guys. Wednesday. Everybody got to take a shot like communion. Well, it is Easter Sunday, so. Right? That's our communion. It's, come on. Don't do it for us. Do it for Jesus. Come on. Water the wine. (laughs) Okay. Water the wine. We got got to save an empty seat in the front for for him. Water the wine for Jesus? No, he got to pay his fucking VIP. No, 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 no. I'm not condoning that. Exactly. He just does it for free. Nope, he got to pay his ticket. <laughs> You're a wild. If he'll feel comfortable with he us personally. He, he, oh, he ain't blessed my bank account yet, so. <laughs> no. You saw see your Jesus. <laughs> Look, man. You mad? Like, I've been praying. Not one blessing. Hey. I work hard. <laughs> Sometimes I, I see other people ain't work that hard. And he, they up up. <laughs> they up up. Nah, he got to pay his you, ticket. You telling Jesus to pull up is crazy. I mean, you know, he can pull up. He got to pull up and he got to pay the ticket. He got the, he got the link. He got the link. He got the link. He got the OG. He got the link. Yo. So uh, that's our show. Um, yes, please go and buy your tickets for the live show on please. April twenty first. Uh, it's gonna be a really dope show. We expecting a lot of interaction with the crowd. We we really? gonna turn everybody into a podcast. I, that feel, I feel like it's a, we're gonna have special guests. I feel like hopefully some real dope podcasters that we that we fuck with come through and we can have a good time. Yeah. Just pull, just pull them up. So yo, yo, come on the stage real quick. Let's have a conversation. You didn't text them. Yeah, you you got the bag. You know what time it is. I got the bag. You you got the I contact did. bag. Oh. Okay. <laughs> be careful Sorry. what you say. Out there. I still be walking outside by myself. Like, you can't be saying wild shit like that. Uh, but yeah, just pull up, yo. We gonna you know we gonna. Just fucking joke, man. Have fun. Yeah, I'm excited. And come, in with the, come in with your Easter fits, too. Come straight from the church and just come to the No show. pot of blue rockwood suit. <laughs> White <Nike>. night. <laughs> no. That's, that's not the type of time I want y'all to be on. I don't think y'all not the type of time either. So. Nah, somebody definitely have to pull up. Do us both a favor. Pot of, no. <laughs> pot of blue rockwood suit. You ain't got to wear your Stacey Adams, either. Oh, God. Um, if okay. you come in here dressed like Steve Harvey, we're kicking you out. <laughs> <laughs> we're, kicking you out. We're. we're kicking you out. We're kicking you out. Yo, Mr. Hightower, <laughs> you, need to, you need to go. That's we're kicking you out. Uh, <laughs> security. <laughs> Steve Harvey. <laughs> like, yo, Monique in here. You can't come in. <laughs> Word. Uh, oh, I'm man. Bad. Yeah. Experience all this ignorant shit live. Please. People be really surprised. 
when they come to the show, be like, there's no way y'all really act like this. Like, nah, no, we're worse. The gag is we really do. We're worse, <laughs> we're worse when the when the fucking mics are phone off. And then it's gonna be people in front of us. Oh, oh man. Right. Man. Oh my god. And it's no gonna be liquor way. flowing. Oh Listen, man. I'm gonna try oh, to stay as sober as possible because I still have to be professional. No, I do. I mean, we used to we used to be swinging it back back in the day. We did, but now I'm be in front of people watching me. I oh, mean, now you gotta be in your best best behavior. You know, <laughs> worse. Fraud. <laughs> Fraud ass. <laughs> but again, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can cop the tickets right now. They're available at sidepodcast.com slash events. Uh, shout out to our executive producer Bianca, as always. Yeah. She'll definitely um, be in the building, so yes. come check her out. Yeah, everybody gonna be in there. She oh. coming through with some expensive ass shades and bag. I just wanna see which one. I, I predict for her. Uh, uh, nah, it's it's gonna be. I don't know. Let's what hope let's hope the weather's litty. Yeah, I don't want it to be too hot. Like I want it to be respectable because mm. I ain't feeling like putting on no jacket or anything. Like I like jacket. I might come with a light jacket. I don't, I ain't, uh, a light jacket. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't I still about no mean girls. Like <laughs> 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 no, not that. <laughs> Never seen it. This congeniality too. Word. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yo, Nima's coming through like legally blonde too, baby. Oh my god. I only had like three hours of sleep, so. Oh, oh my gosh! Legally blonde too, and then paces the little dog on the leash. Boom! I oh put it my god! Please. All right, great. You can cut everybody's <laughs> mic off, and that is our show. Thank you. We'll see y'all next week. Check Bye. Out we are oh. out here. Tag. Fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> Sophisticated Tag. ignorance. Are y'all fucking crazy? That's a fact. Talk Are y'all great? Yo, y'all get me tight. Like, I be out here trying to be humble. Let's not get drop. fucking crazy. Sophisticated ignorance. All right?